This is Golf with Jay Delsing. A two-time All-American at UCLA. A participant in nearly 700 PGA Tour events. Seven professional wins to his credit. Over 30 years of professional golf experience. A member of the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame. This is Golf with Jay Delsing. Welcome in to Golf with Jay Delsing. Coming to you from the Car Shield Studios and presented by Darty Business Solutions. With Jay Delsing, I'm Dan McLaughlin. We start this show off on the range. We also start our show off, Jay, at 9 a.m., 9 to 10. One-hour show every Sunday here on 101 ESPN. Great to see you. You too, Danny. Good morning. And uh, we're back to the 9 to 10 slot. And, uh, yeah, it's great to be back. we got a lot shaking in the world of golf, man. Super Bowl Sunday. Do you have a pick? Of course I have a pick. What's your pick? What's the number? Well, last check it was... The Niners favored by two. Some have one and a half, but it's in a pretty equal matchup here in the Super Bowl. I'm going Chiefs. I am too. How do you yep. bet against them with what they've done running through the AFC here in the playoffs? Betting against Pat uh, Pat Mahomes is well is bad for your health. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. You just can't sit still. You watch him and he scrambles. The guy's got unbelievable pocket presence. How he just you know gets that gets that sense and. The way he and Kelsey have been connecting has been epic. Yeah, year after year, and they find a way, and they're finding it in the playoffs. Are so, you a Taylor Swift fan? Uh, I'm a fan of what's happening right now with her in the NFL. I, I think it's good for the league. I think they're getting a ton of boost from this, and it'll be an interesting prop bet today how many times they'll show her <laughs> on the telecast. It was interesting because I read an article that put a number associated with what her presence has brought into the NFL. I think it's three hundred and thirty million dollars. How about that? Yeah. So it works. Marketing works. Guess who guess who's getting that money? The NFL. Yeah. Some way, somehow. Yeah. They're yeah. always going to get the money, man. All the owners. All the owners will find a way to get the money when you talk about the NFL. Now there is money to talk about being one on the PGA tour as we kick things off on the show. And that's Wyndham Clark. Only three rounds though at, yep. at Pebble Beach. Yeah, it was too bad. I mean, I don't know if you're lo- if I've experienced this before, Danny, living in California, and for the most part, it never rains. I mean, for the most part, it just never rains. It'll look cloudy. You'll swear it's gonna rain, it doesn't rain. But when it decides to rain, Sometimes it doesn't stop. I can remember my freshman year. Um, we hadn't, didn't get to hit any golf balls for, um, I mean, it was a couple of weeks. Every course was closed. There was flooding. Um, <laughs> Eddie Marins somehow said to me, come on up and I'll give you a lesson at Bel Air, which was not great because he and I just didn't really connect on a golf swing level, especially at the time. But I was, it was pouring rain. And he's giving me a lesson under an umbrella, and I'm swinging in the rain. And we got a shagger out there <laughs> trying to get the balls, and I'm hitting him everywhere. And he is sliding across. There's literally six inches of water across every fairway, and we're out there practicing Trying golf. to figure it out. Yeah, so um, they're going through that right now, and, and Pebble Beach just got dumped on for 60-mile-an-hour winds, and yeah. It was good. the right decision. Yeah, it was. They're, they didn't really have a choice. Have you seen in past tour events, whether you competed in them or just watching them as a fan, but cutting the the final round out, so you only have a three-round event? They barely. They, they, they do that so sporadically, and it's only when there's really no other choice. They'll – I won't say never, but I'm going to say never go to a Tuesday – but they'll go to Mondays for sure as often as they can. There's a huge logistic problem with going beyond Monday because you got to get to the next site. You know that place is raring to go. They've been their their staff, their 501c3, their orgs have been working all year. You're going to keep, you know, 75 or 80 of the guys away from that event for an extra day or two. You also have all of the staff the tour staff that travels around, you've got a lot of the equipment they need to bring. It's It, it gets tough. I would think, too, the pro-ams, you don't want to miss that because no. that's the top business leaders, probably the sponsors of the tournament, and you have to make sure that you take care of them. Oh, yeah, then the, and the, the pro-ams are what, you know, differentiate our, our, 
our tour. It's so much fun. Um, uh, and they're really kind of bucket list sort of things. Do you, you got to um, the thrill of caddying yes, for I me. Yes, I did. It uh, was a thrill. Oh, my gosh. But we had a blast. And, you know, the um, the amateurs pay a lot of dough for that. And their sure. companies pay a lot of dough. It's it's a big deal. We're seeing an emergence of Wyndham Clark, are we not? We are. I, I, think, I think we are. You know, it's interesting. This is a kid that's got a, a, a really deep amount of talent. And a, he's just, I think he's just now starting to figure it out. If you if you look up and look up and it's been what, Danny, seven months since he won the, the U.S. Open. Anybody that wins U.S. Open, you just take your hat off to him. Sure. It's a grueling test of mental and physical uh, combination and all of that jazz. And then he also won another event before the end of last year, and that one is skipping my mind right now. He played in the Ryder Cup team, and he also now has gone out and won, you know, the first elevated event of the 2024 schedule. So, yeah, I think, or I guess second, because technically Hawaii was an elevated event. But he, um, yeah, he's he's got all he's got everything he needs. That's for sure. A lot of power, a lot of good touch around the greens. You mentioned elevated event. Explain that for our golf fans that are hearing. Well, the top players are at this elevated event, but the secondary events, you may see one, two, five, but you're not going to see all the big boys. Do I have to? Yeah, I, I think <laughs> no, you do. I know, I know, I know. It's just aggravating. So, so folks, here's what's going on. The elevated event, Pebble Beach used to be competed on over three golf courses, and there were a lot of players, a hundred and, oh gosh, 160, 170 players in the field. This elevated, and the purse was extremely good. It was probably an $8 million, $9 million purse. Now, however, it's $20 million purse. There are 80 guys, no cut, and it's competed over two golf courses. So it's at Spyglass, Hills and Pebble Beach, and um, so it's cut the amateur field in half. It's cut the play the the professional field in half, and that's an elevated event. And the top what sixty players are required to play. I think they're allowed one absence of the elevated event. Why in the hell would you ever skip an elevated event? Now with that kind of purse, that no, kind of money that's available. See, I didn't even pull up last place money, but I will pull up last place money and see what that was. Yeah, ridiculous. While you do that, we need to head to a break. We'll go to the front nine, and we're going to talk about the stop this week. It's one of the fun stops on the PGA the Tour. It's great. Waste management in Arizona. That's coming up. This is Golf with Jay Delson. This is Chris Nagel. And you're listening to Golf with Jay Delsing. Darty Business Solutions has been enhancing the business of our customers for the last 37 years. How do we do it? Through our expertise in technology, better use of data and analytics, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. We roll up our sleeves and collaborate. We build applications and effectively communicate with our partner clients to bring their goals and objectives to the finish line. Our award-winning Access Point program is a community game changer. With nearly 100 students in the program, mostly young African-American females are making between $55,000 and $60,000 per year right out of high school. That's right, $55,000 to $60,000 a year right after high school graduation. That's when they begin their training. CEO Ron Darty believes the talent is equally distributed, but access to that opportunity is not. So here's Access Point, providing more and more opportunity for those in and around our community. It's Darty Business Solutions. Get ready to watch the legends of golf up close when they compete at historic Norwood Hills Country Club right here in St. Louis. The Ascension Charity Classic. We'll be back again with some of golf's greatest names. Steve Stricker, Padraig Harrington, John Daly, David Duvall, Bernard Longer, Justin Leonard, David Toms, and more will compete returning September 3rd through the 8th. Visit AscensionCharityClassic.com for information. Are you driving an out-of-warranty car? It's only a matter of time before your out-of-warranty vehicle is in the shop costing you thousands of dollars. 
auto repair costs are up nearly 20% from last year, which is four times the rate of inflation. If an unexpected breakdown happened today, would you be ready for that? Well, now you can be with a plan through CarShield. Even if your car is just over three years old, it's still prone to expensive costs. Your car is more than just getting you from point A to point B. Traveling by car is a way of life. From picking up your kids to going to a new restaurant, cars are a daily essential. When you enroll in a car protection plan through CarShield, you can look forward to the following. The price will never go up no matter how many claims you file or no matter how high the mileage on your car increases. CarShield offers protection plans that start as low as $100 per month. That's $100 per month. They have repair coverage for up to 5,000 different parts of your vehicle. Plus, when your car breaks down and you're stuck on the side of the road, you get 24-7 coast-to-coast roadside assistance. You also get complimentary towing and rental car options. CarShield has my back when my car breaks down, and they can have yours too. Call CarShield today at 800 465 6550 or visit carshield.com. It's CarShield, proud sponsor of the Golf with Jay Delsing Show. Hi, this is Peter Jacobson, and you're listening to Golf with Jay Delsing. I'm delighted to welcome the Amateur Players Tour to the Golf with Jay Delsing show. The APT team has worked so hard to establish a national golf tour for amateurs. Folks, don't miss out on this opportunity. If you love golf and ever wondered what all the fuss about tournament golf is, then this tour is for you. We just released the 2024 schedule, and it is a beast. There's 21 events currently in the metropolitan St. Louis area with many more to come. But check out these golf courses. Paynes Valley, Ozark National, Stone Wolf, Ambrier, Persimmon Woods, Gateway National, and a 36-hole event on Norwood's West Course, and many more. Okay, so the courses are certainly cool and nice, but what's really neat is the way the events are run and how they are run. The APT team does a fantastic job of closely monitoring handicaps and ensuring a good and fair competition. There are five divisions, a year-long points competition, major championships, elevated events, and much, much more. Right now, there are over 6,000 members in 41 different local chapters across the country. And all that's happened in just over five years. Join now and don't miss out on the best tournament golf in the country. Run for amateurs by amateurs themselves. Go to amateurplayerstour.com. That's amateurplayerstour.com. This is the Front Nine, presented by the Ascension Charity Classic. To learn more, visit ascensioncharityclassic.com. It's the front nine on 101 ESPN. Golf with Jay Delsing. I'm Dan McLaughlin. That's Jay Delsing. We went to break, and you were going to look up a number for us in terms of the last place finish and what they pulled away. $37,000. It was Nick Dunlop in his very first event. He can say he finished DFL. Right. And, Danny, he finished DFL by two strokes. So he had a, a, a cushion. And he made $37,000. And he didn't turn pro until after winning. So he bypassed some of the money there yep. that could have been going into his pocket. Now, you'd have to say, by him going pro, he probably made out like a bandit because oh, yeah. he's a great story yeah. with promotions, yeah. what he'll rep, all those kind of things that come his way. No doubt. I bet you his contractual stuff's worth over $10 bucks. Amazing. Yeah. He's the first amateur in 31 years to go out there and – and win on the PGA Tour, and it's hard to win on the PGA Tour, and this kid just stood up there. I loved what his caddy said to him. This is, He had about a five-and-a-half-footer on 18, and his caddy looked at him and said, this putt's so easy your mama could make it. <laughs> I know. The waste management uh, taking place this weekend, and I know as a fan and as a competitor in that, you love this tournament. I do. I love the golf course. I'm a, I'm a fan of Tom Weisskopf golf courses in general. He uh, he designed the the 
the golf course there with Jay Morsh. He also designed Country Club of St. Albans, uh, Lewis and Clark uh, course. He also designed uh, Troon Country Club. I don't know if you played there. So I'm a fan. I'm, a, I'm really a fan of Tom uh, Weisskopf. He's a, a very interesting, kind of a thought, I, I would say a thoughtful kind of designer because, Danny, one of the most perfect holes in the world is the 17th hole in Waste Management. So it's after the rock and roll party, yep. which is a blast. It was way more fun when we used to have the caddy races. We'll get into that in a moment. The caddy, yeah, caddy blew out his ankle. Anyway, so you go to 17, and Danny, back in the day, in 92, I was playing in the last group. I had a one-stroke lead start in the last day, and I wound up finishing third or something. Mark Kalkovecchio, just this is just for the folks that play in their club championship and think they know what com- competition's like. I was one under par for my round on Sunday after six holes. We ran, a, ran into a log jam on the seventh. Someone had lost the ball and got a ruling, and so there were six groups sitting on there. So we sat and we sat, and that was terrible for me. But anyway, Mark Kalkovecki, uh, Mark Kalk, Kalkovecki played the last eleven, last twelve holes nine under. Ugh. That one's got to hurt a little bit. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks for coming. It was it was amazing. But uh, what I was going to say is, we stood up on seventeen, and we all had it was Mark Alcavecchia, Jim Thorpe, and I in the last group, and we all had drivers in our hands, and we all three hit the green. But Danny, you miss it two feet left there, and it's in the water, and you can chip it in the water. You see, guys. So that, but but it's also a three hundred and thirty yard hole where you're like. I got to birdie this thing. One of the things that stood out to me, we'll get back to the waste management in just a moment, but in watching the Ascension Charity Classic is how much you stand and have to wait between shots. It's not like playing with your buddies on the weekend and you go right to your ball and away you go. And TV doesn't do it justice because they're cutting shot to shot to shot. You guys are waiting a good five or ten minutes sometimes between shots. Yeah, and you really have to be prepared for that. And when one of the things that's hard for me to go back every year is I don't play tournament golf anymore. So that, that waiting it can get you, you yeah. know, I mean, it just gets you thinking or it can get you out of rhythm or out of your sequence. So you really got to be prepared for it. So what I like to do is, hell, if you're standing there, I'll just come over to the, the ropes and talk to you. You did. Something? Yeah, we'll just go like, hey, man, what's I going tried, on? How about I the Cardinals? To, I tried to walk away from you because I felt bad that you would come and talk to a patron. I was like, Jay, go, oh, go no, focus man. on the no, golf. I was, oh, no, that's not for me. I So that's one, one of the things that people don't understand in terms of concentration. It's not for or four and a half, or five and a half straight hours of concentration. It's in and out, in and out. When it's when it's your turn, it's like, boom, you you get into your routine and you're doing your things. And then in between, it's it's a free-for-all. There's a lot of wacky conversation going on. Night, uh, 16th is the par three. Fantastic. It's got the Coliseum set up yep. with the seating, and people are going nuts. They're it, going it's, nuts. It's a fun time. There's a lot happening nowadays. There's, <laughs> right. a, there's a lot of naked people. There's a lot of uh, liquid beverages consumed, yes. thrown, probably regurgitated the whole thing it's it's a lot Danny it's four layers high it is so awesome yeah and every year I get on the tv and my and my it'll happen again today well it's already happened because it, it, yesterday uh guys send me screenshots of their tv because they take the plaques there's a there's a monument there that's got all the guys that have made hole in ones I think there's 11 right I know I don't know how many, but okay. I can tell you that there's Tiger's, one sitting right here. Tiger's got one lucky guy next to him. It, <laughs> it was me. I think Tiger made. I don't. I don't know. I don't even remember what year. Might have been ninety one or ninety three. He made his in like ninety five, but it was it was a spectacle, man. Tell the story. What happened with you? You drop in the hole in one. Yeah. So I'm standing on sixteen, and and um, I'll never forget. You know the way we grew up was very similar, and when we played golf, you know we have played by the rules, but not necessarily the etiquette. So it was ready golf, and also there was a little chirping going on while you're swinging. So this kind of hole doesn't bother me at all. You know, I kind of like it. So I was standing up there, and I remember teeing my ball up. It was a nine iron. I had like 145 yards. And um, I hear this guy behind me say, who the hell is this guy? And that's not exactly <laughs> what he said. And his friend goes, I don't know, but I'll bet you five bucks he misses a green. Well. Right? 
Yep. So he stood up there, and Pearlie was was not getting for me, but he's right behind me. And um, I hit this shot, and it just, you know, what can you say? It just, it was a good shot, and it got lucky to go in the hole. You know, it could go one inch away, and you go, that's a great shot. It goes in the hole, it's luck. So I turn around to see who these guys are, and I just get doused to beer shower, you know. And the the, the crowd, it's neat because even though it's only 150 yards, it there takes it takes time for the sound of the crowd to get back to you. So the guys over here start jumping up and down. The people around the green start jumping. It's just bedlam. And my caddy says to me, hey, look, dude, you want a car? Can I have it? And I look over and there's a car in a tee and this was Saturday. And I said, hell no, you can't have it. I go, <laughs> carry the bag and good luck in the caddy race. Exactly. You know? And don't, don't worry about my car now. So I'm thinking, that's pretty cool. I want a car. So the people are cheering and we're walking. The, the car is kind of facing towards the green. And so we walk and I turn back and look at the car. And on the windshield, there's a little three by five placard that says Sunday, Sunday only. only. Yeah. How Ouch. bad is it? Ouch. That's chicken. We're going to talk more about 16 at Waste Management. We're going to make the turn. This is Golf with Jay Delsing. Do you remember the golden rule? I'm sure you do, but just in case it goes like this. Treat people the way that you'd like to be treated. At People's National Bank, that one statement is the cornerstone of what this bank is all about. Locally owned with 23 locations in Southern Illinois and the metropolitan St. Louis area, People's National Bank parlays a robust menu of commercial or personal banking services you could possibly need with a friendly yet hardworking Midwestern attitude. Maybe you just wanna do business with a bank whose entire team lives in the same neighborhoods as we do. If you're like me and doing business with someone you trust is important to you, then People's National Bank is the bank for you. Jason Rantham, local president, is here for you to call and he'll answer any questions you may have. His personal cell is 314-974-2243. You can also find us online at peoplesnationalbank.com. People's National Bank is here for all of your banking needs. Hey, St. Louis, Eddie McVeigh here from Maggie O'Brien's. When you head downtown for a concert or cards or blues game, and now for the St. Louis City soccer game, please come see us at Maggie O'Brien's before and after your event. Take our shuttle to and from or stay in-house and watch your favorite team on our multiple high-def TVs. We look forward to seeing you soon at one of our two locations in Sunset Hills on South Lindbergh or downtown at the corner of Market and 20th Street. Union Station is next to us. If you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, any maker model, then you need to visit the Dean Team Volkswagen of Kirkwood. They are the official vehicle provider of the Golf with Jay Delsing show. My daughter and I both drive vehicles supplied by Colin and the Dean Team Volkswagen of Kirkwood. And it's because we know we can trust them. They made the car buying experience painless and easy. And their customer service is second to none. Every single step of the car buying experience was taken care of for us. You can reach Colin at 314-966-0303, and he will answer all of your questions and put your mind at ease. The Dean Team Volkswagen of Kirkwood has new or pre-owned vehicles to be purchased or leased, whichever you prefer. Once you visit the Dean Team Volkswagen on Manchester in Kirkwood, you'll be a customer for life because they will treat you like family. The Dean Team Volkswagen of Kirkwood, the official vehicle provider of the Golf with Jay Delsing Show. Hi, this is Adam Betts from Family Golf and Learning Center. At FGLC here in Kirkwood, we feature a double-decker driving range, two large grass tees with Tahoma Bermuda grass. You want to work on your short game? We have a short game area, too, which features a 20,000-square-foot green, three bunkers, and zoysia surrounds. Also at Family Golf and Learning Center, don't forget about our nine-hole par-3 course, the indoor trackman simulators, and our performance center. If you're looking for the best golf instruction, regardless of skill, we can help. Find out more at FamilyGolfOnline.com. That's FamilyGolfOnline.com. Family Golf and Learning Center. We make St. Louis better at golf. So you've been hearing me talk about one of our community's greatest contributors and most philanthropically inclined companies. Yes, of course, I'm talking about Marcone. They're the largest distributor of General Electric appliance parts in North America. Did you know that Marcone is also the largest and most trusted supplier of commercial 
and residential appliance parts, HVAC, plumbing, commercial kitchens, and pools and spas. All of that's in North America as well. That's right, Marcone does all that. Marcone is committed to supporting our first responders. All the branches of service in our military, our police and firefighters, and many more. From the viewing deck at the Ascension Charity Classic, founded in honor of our military heroes, to their commitment to Reese Across America program, Marcone is here for you and your family, as well as your community. That's Marcone, the official sponsor of the Golf with Jay Delsing show. This is Golf with Jay Delsing. We're halfway home, and it's time to make the turn. Let's get back to Jay and Dan. the turn on golf with jay delsing i'm dan mclaughlin that's jay delsing on this sunday morning it is super bowl sunday but we're talking golf in particular waste management i want to get into number 16 one of the most famous holes in golf and if you've been watching it this weekend it is fun but part of this was the caddy races you briefly mentioned that the caddy races were a part of this they were so much fun i mean this is back when you know i guess we weren't as smart as we were, we weren't as socially um, plugged in. But yeah, the caddies are basically carrying around a, somewhere between a 35 and 50 pound refrigerator on the back of their, you know, d- double straps or single, it was only single straps back in the day. And they basically stand on the end of the, the back tee and go on your mark, get set, go. And the three caddies would <laughs> haul booty up towards the green. And whoever touched the green first won. Well, Someone blew out an ankle. And that was it for that. Yeah, and they had to run through part of partial desert, you know, and there's footprints and all that in there. So, but I mean, what was it, two, three years ago, Danny, where Harry Higgs and uh, Joel Damon took off their uh, shirts? and Oh, yeah. How about that? Dove in and had a little fun. How about that? Yeah. So I actually think it's fantastic. I wouldn't be surprised if they do another hole. You know what I mean? It just did something to make it interesting. I was going to ask you about that. If you believe that the PGA Tour on every stop needs to have a par three that's like it. I'm not saying you can duplicate what they're doing, but like at the Ascension, you have the sky boxes and there's fans going nuts and cheering you on and Jay, Jay, you know, unbelievable. That's what you want. You want this to be entertainment. And I do wonder if the PGA Tour. Why? I just wonder why they haven't done this with other stops on tour. It's interesting because the tour didn't do this. Phoenix did it. And they had such a party. I mean, it was a party. Danny, I'll, I'll never forget. I think the year that I was playing in the last group, I was one of the last players to leave on Saturday night. There were more cars coming in on Saturday night than were there for the tournament. The numbers last year were 750,000. It's great. It's for good that, for the game. For event. Yeah, think of the money that they raise in the Valley of the Sun down there. It's incredible. Do you think by them watching, though, on 16 what happens, that they need to loosen guidelines for fans? We're seeing it with Liv, but does that need to happen? And I'm not saying playing loud music the whole time, but having more fan interaction like they have on 16. I, I think so. I, I think it's a miss in general. So here's the problem with our game, Danny. We are stooped in a lot of really good tradition – but some of it's no good anymore. For example, you can go in and buy a $20 pair of Dockers that are going to get you into every single club, Augusta National included, and you could go and wear buy a $400 pair of jeans and not get in. Exactly. And, and the, the, the music thing has got to change as well. I think you've got, you've got to remember we're outside. Now, and if, if you're playing in a tournament, you're playing your club championship, and it's been a, a player doesn't – that's fine. That's different. On a Tuesday afternoon, you and I are out playing. Who's a – last year we jammed to Dave Matthews a that's lot. That's all we did all summer. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there's always music on. You bought me that fabulous uh, Bushnell – Man, it's got everything. It does everything but hit a shot for you. Really, that was for me. Yeah. I just knew you would use it. So good. It's my favorite. (laughs) My first thing when I go out is to make sure it's charged. Yep. You know, and now all the carts have uh, the the USB ports in them. So, But we've got to figure out a way to get the younger 
person, the younger sports fan, uh, engaged in keep them engaged. We got to keep that 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 interest up. Our our rec our numbers are off the charts right now. Now we have to see what kind of job we can do to keep them because you're going to turn people off by saying. You can't play music. And it's almost like saying don't have fun. Right. I, I think Liv is caught on on the television product by showing shot after shot after shot. And the PGA Tour players have talked about this, where they're not showing enough of the action on no. the game broadcast or the the round, the telecast. Sure. And I think there's some truth to that. I think that's one thing that Liv has done well. Yeah. The, the, I still say they haven't figured out how to put it together in a package. You know what I mean? But you do, you're do. you getting to see a lot of golf. It's almost a little disjointed because it moves a little fast. And without any reference points, we haven't seen these golf courses before. We don't. There's no people around. You don't know where you are. You know what I mean? You could tell John Rahm. That's John Rahm. But, you know, John Rahm may not start on number one today. Right. So John Rahm's on number 12, but that's only his third hole. And... Now we got DJ, who's on number seven. They happen to be tied for the lead, but DJ has got, you know, three holes to play. It's just it. it there's a lot more to take in on their on their broadcast. It's got to be eye popping for John Rom to go on a live tour stop and have a handful of people watching him, as opposed to right. ten right. deep on every hole to watch him play. Hundred percent. He was. Uh, he did a couple of uh, shows this past. Uh, January and I, I listened to them all and it was really interesting on what he said. He he said one of the biggest reasons that he went to live, first of all, they kept slapping ridiculous amounts of money up until finally he said, of course it's some money. I said so much money. But he also said there were there were two huge factors besides the money. And then money was number one. Yeah. He's got five he's got lifetime exemption into Augusta. He's got a five-year exemption into the U.S. Open. So he believes within the next five years, this will all come full circle. That's what he believes. He, he, um, that was crucial in him because the win at the U.S. Open, D, gets him in the other majors for the next five, uh, maybe even seven years. So, um, But, I mean, here's how, how about this? Joaquin Neiman won the first live event last week. We should give him some props. 59, had no idea where he was. He's walking up the last hole, and they said, if you're birdie 18, you shoot 58. And he's like, what? He didn't even know how many under par he was. He knew he's playing well. He wins. Got a two-shot penalty between Saturday and Sunday's round because he took a, a wrong drop, which at least he didn't get disqualified like the old rules of golf. But, Danny, I don't think he's eligible for any majors. No, he's year. not. He's not. Zero majors. After putting up that round. And that's what's disappointing. It is. And did you know, I was also reading that, um, is it Jose Ortiz? Yeah, the, the, uh, um, he's a, a live player and did a really interesting article. Um, he was told that by year three, Greg Norman guaranteed world golf rankings. Yep. To and the, I, to the and, original guys. And... That's one of the things John Rahm pointed out, too. World Golf rank, uh, Rankings, he said he wants to play in Spain, but he wants to play on certain stops on the PGA Tour. Yep. And if it all comes together, he's going to get his wish. Yep. He, I, and it's, it's interesting on what this is going to look like, because now the Tour's done this equity piece from PGA Tour Enterprises. It's a mess. It's an absolute mess, Danny. It might take us four hours to break that down, but... I just don't. I just don't know what this is all going to look like. But the the tours come up with some concocted, crazy way of rewarding the guys that stayed on the PGA Tour. What they're trying to do is offset more guys leaving. That's Jay Delsing. I'm Dan McLaughlin. This is PGA Tours uh, news and notes. That's coming up on Golf with Jay Delsing. Hey, Jay Delsing here, and I know I speak for all of we golfers. We're always looking to improve our game. And for me, that means I go to one place, Pro-Am Golf in Brentwood. Tom DeGrand opened his family business in 1975 with the goal of providing St. Louis with the finest in golf equipment, instruction, and technology. Whether you need a new rangefinder, your first set of clubs, or anything else you can think of, Pro-Am Golf has just what you're looking for. How about a custom club fitting 
Well, call CJ. He is the best. He's fit me personally, and there's no one in town I'd recommend more. Mention my name, and CJ will take 50% off the already low-fitting price. Go get your gear, golf lessons, or anything golf-related where I go, and that's Pro-Am Golf in Brentwood. You can also visit them at ProAmUSA.com. That's Pro-Am Golf. For the best in Italian cuisine in St. Louis, look no further than Paul Mano's, located in Chesterfield. It's traditional Italian cooking, and their best ingredient, it's their tradition. It's cooking like Paul's grandmother used to make and like his mother still prepares today. There are no corners cut at Paul Mano's, from greeting you at the door to the pasta you'll share with your family. Paul Mano's is committed to bringing you their very best anytime you share a meal at their place. It's Paul Mano's located in Chesterfield. Redbird Heating and Cooling sponsors the Veterans Vocational Apprentice Program. Jed Dickinson, a retired Navy man, will teach mentor and sign off on educational and mechanical work hours to help you get fully licensed while you work and get paid by the company. What a great way to launch your career as a fully licensed HVAC specialist. Call Redbird Heating and Cooling today at 314-320-9507. That's Redbird Heating and Cooling. This is Paul Lazinger, and you're listening to Golf with Jay Delsing. Hey, this is Jay Delsing for SSM Health Physical Therapy. Our golf program has the same screening techniques and technology as the pros on the PGA Tour use. SSM Health Physical Therapy has the Titleist Performance Institute trained physical therapists that can perform the TPI screening on you as well as use the KVEST 3D motion capture system. Proper posture, alignment, etc. can help you keep your game right down the middle. We have 80 locations in the St. Louis area. Call 800-518-1626 or visit them on the web at SSMPhysicalTherapy.com. Your therapy, our passion. Hi, this is Adam Betts from Family Golf and Learning Center. You're listening to Golf with Jay Delson. This is Golf with Jay Delsing. The Back Nine is presented by Pro-Am Golf, located in Brentwood. See what Pro-Am Golf can do for you. Golf with Jay Delsing rolls on Super Bowl Sunday. We're talking golf this morning, getting ready for football. Yeah, they tie in. Of course they do. Of course they do. Lives and li- lives in Vegas. We got the waste management right down the road in Scottsdale, man. And then we got Super Bowl. We got a lot of good TV on. I think Liv tried to use the Super Bowl as a bump. I oh, think yeah. it was strategic in playing out in Vegas. I lo- I, I think they're smart. To I do, do that. too. I, I don't think they've. I'll be honest. And I would and I would tell you if because you know I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Norman's whole thing. But I would tell you if. If they haven't done a lot of smart things yet. I mean, one of the things, they, they still don't have golf, uh, world golf rankings, which <clears throat> Greg Norman promised his players in year three they'd have world golf rankings. There's no way to, to, to rank a tournament of only 50, 48 players. Now they're 54. It's, it's loose. We don't know how you're going to replenish the tour with younger players. We, up until a couple of months ago, they, they, they didn't even have a system on how you were going to get in there. So the business side of this thing is really, it, it really lacks. Okay, let's get into business side, PGA Tour Enterprises. Yeah. This came out this past week. What it do you did. know from it? Uh, so 194, 93 players are going to be compensated through a new entity called PGA Tour Enterprises, which the Fenway Group, uh, which is a very heady group of business-savvy sports leaders from the the owner of the Milwaukee Brewers to... Mark Antanasio. Yep. Yeah, so, Fenway Sports Group. There's eight we billionaires. Got John Henry. Yeah. John Henry's involved. There's eight billionaires. So they gave... They gave... We'll get back to that in a minute. Okay. The PGA Tour, $1.5 billion. Okay. $600 million is going to stay behind and not be allocated in this 
system where they've tried to create value in what you've done as a player, what you're doing as a player. I'm not, I mean, it's really turns out to be extremely fortunate for some of the guys that are playing right now as compared to our buddy Adam Long, who last year lost his tour card and is probably out. How do you figure out the, the tour players in that? I don't may- know. I have no idea. So, Danny, the first group is going to be 36 players, and they're going to split, check this out, $750 million. Now, I don't know how much Jack gets, and I don't know how much Tiger gets, and I don't know how much Rory gets, but if you just want to take those three, everybody else can have yeah. whatever. They can scramble for whatever's left. Why doesn't Jay Delsing get a cut? You played almost 30 years on the PGA Tour. I, yeah. Or anybody that made a cut, anybody that has yeah. a, a, you know, a stake in this. I don't I don't know. I, I No one's even contacted us. I, I'm, I'm getting information just from friends that are going through there. I mean, I, I, there, there's some kind of legacy people that are going to be grandfathered into this. Davis Love, a good buddy there, is probably going to get some money. Um, how do you not give Johnny Miller money? How do yeah, you not give exactly. Hale Irwin, St. Louis and Hale Irwin, Lee Trevino? But so it's it's odd. So there's there's amounts of money and categories, and it goes from the thir- top thirty six to the next. 64, I believe, either 54 or 64, and that group gets to split a hell of a lot less money than that. But it's it just it just dwindles down kind of almost like a tour purse. So I, I think someone's listening right now and going, now wait a minute, Jack Nicholas gets a part of this. Why would he get a part of it as opposed to, as I said before, any player that played on the PGA Tour and helped grow the game? Because – they're saying they had a much more prominent. They're a Which legend. Which I get. They're, yeah, I know. But still, when's the cutoff for what you are as how a legend dec- and not? Right. How do you decide? And who's the 194th player? That's a great question, too. And then what is, And so he's got zero? I mean, it's there's just a lot of questions. It's another one of these things, Danny, to me, that seems like you're trying to reward. You know, people made choices. Okay. You went to live. Great. Go to live. You stayed. Great. Don't take the money. Why? I mean, it's almost like another participation trophy. I think a lot of the guys on live and participating, like a John Rahm, expect to be back in some form or fashion on the PGA Tour. We touched upon it earlier, but it just seems like they feel that things will shake out the right way where they get their money so they get their cake and eat it too. I agree. And I was expecting expecting a deal – with the PIF, at least on the same footing as with the Fenway Sports Group. That's what I was expecting, and that did not happen. There is no way in hell that – I'm not sure what he called his excellency or his eminency or something like that. Whatever. Whatever that guy's name is. Yasser. We'll just call him Yasser since we're on first name basis together. <laughs> we're gonna say, well, he's pissed. There's no doubt. He's left out – He's left out again. And I'm just going to say this, go on the record to say this. There's no way to do golf moving forward without him. And at what point do you think the casual fan, even a golf fan, says, that's it, I'm done watching, my best guys are gone, I have all these kids I've never heard of, they're leading tournaments, and I don't even know who they are. I think there's some that would say I'm done. I think there are other viewers and lovers of the game of golf that'll say don't care i'm still watching great golf i'm giving i'm giving my buddy anthony a shout out at dean team i love the dean team and these guys are great and i had my car service last week and he said to me i was waiting for my car and he came in and he goes you got a minute i said sure what's up he goes i gotta tell you you lost me golf lost me they i'm he's like i love the game i'm gonna play every time i can but he goes I, I'm not watching it anymore. I don't know what the hell's going on. I said, he goes, it, it really seems to me like you got a bunch of millionaires bitching and complaining and, and all of this stuff when they have no right to be. You know, it's hard to argue. Yeah. It's really hard to argue. All right, speaking of the Dean team, we're going to tip our cap quickly. The tip of the cap is going to go to last weekend's 
Golf Expo here in St. Louis. Absolutely. Dean Team, Volkswagen of Kirkwood, 314-966-0303. Our buddy Colin Burnt, thank you for the support. Guys, you need any sort of vehicle. Colin's got it. I know it says Volkswagen, he can get you anything. We're tipping our cap to the St. Louis Golf Expo. Um, Dick Stevens and his team over there did a nice job at the St. Charles Convention Center. You and I went out there a couple of times. Enjoyed to, uh, it. There's a, just a lot of really cool. Um, for go- you don't even have to be a complete golf nerd to kind of geek out there for a couple hours. You know they've got, got you know get yourself a nice Bud Light Ultra that, and um, just to walk around looking at some of the the different innovations and. You know, we're going to get our, our buddy uh, Gary DeSalvo on the show with Popticals. He's really cool new eyewear for golf. So, um, yeah, and we said the, the Amateur Players Tour. Was, so it was, it was a lot of fun. All right, that's brought to you by the Dean Team. That is our tip of the cap. We're going to answer some emails coming up. Jay at jdelsingolf.com as we head down the stretch on Golf with Jay Delson. Darty Business Solutions has been enhancing the business of our customers for the last 37 years. How do we do it? Through our expertise in technology, better use of data and analytics, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. We roll up our sleeves and collaborate. We build applications and effectively communicate with our partner clients to bring their goals and objectives to the finish line. Our award-winning Access Point program is a community game changer. With nearly 100 students in the program, mostly young African-American females are making between $55,000 and $60,000 per year right out of high school. That's right, $55,000 to $60,000 a year right after high school graduation. That's when they begin their training. CEO Ron Darty believes the talent is equally distributed, but access to that opportunity is not. So here's Access Point, providing more and more opportunity for those in and around our community. It's Darty Business Solutions. Hello, friends. This is Jim Nance, and you are listening to Golf with my friend, Jay Delson. Get ready to watch the legends of golf up close when they compete at historic Norwood Hills Country Club right here in St. Louis. The Ascension Charity Classic will be back again with some of golf's biggest names. Steve Stricker, Padre Harrington, John Daly, David Duvall, Bernard Longer, Ernie Els, and more will return September 3rd through the 8th at Norwood Hills. All tournament proceeds go to area charities serving North St. Louis County youth and families. Sponsorship opportunities, pro-am foursomes, and more information available for you at ascensioncharityclassic.com. Are you driving an out-of-warranty car? It's only a matter of time before your out-of-warranty vehicle is in the shop costing you thousands of dollars. Auto repair costs are up nearly 20% from last year, which is four times the rate of inflation. If an unexpected breakdown happened today, would you be ready for that? Well, now you can be with a plan through CarShield. Even if your car is just over three years old, it's still prone to expensive costs. Your car is more than just getting you from point A to point B. Traveling by car is a way of life. From picking up your kids to going to a new restaurant, cars are a daily essential. When you enroll in a car protection plan through CarShield, you can look forward to the following. The price will never go up no matter how many claims you file or no matter how high the mileage on your car increases. CarShield offers protection plans that start as low as $100 per month. That's $100 per month. They have repair coverage for up to 5,000 different parts of your vehicle. Plus, when your car breaks down and you're stuck on the side of the road, you get 24-7 coast-to-coast roadside assistance. You also get complimentary towing and rental car options. CarShield has my back when my car breaks down, and they can have yours too. Call CarShield today at 800 465 6550 or visit carshield.com. It's CarShield, proud sponsor of the Golf with Jay Delsing Show. This is Adam Betts from Family Golf and Learning Center located in Kirkwood. Our motto is play your best golf. We have the best instruction for every skill level. Two female instructors along with our eight PGA instructors. 
We're there for the kids and the adults who are starting to play and trying to refine their game. Family Golf and Learning Center features a double-decker driving range, grass tees, and a short game area, along with indoor simulators and a performance center. That's not all. Don't forget about our back nine, Bar and Grill. Find out how we can help you and your family. Head to FamilyGolfOnline.com. That's FamilyGolfOnline.com. It's Family Golf and Learning Center, where we make St. Louis better at golf. You're listening to Golf with Jay Delsing. To connect with Jay, log on to jdelsinggolf.com. You'll see the latest in equipment, find the latest innovations in golf, and get tips from a PGA professional. That's jdelsinggolf.com. This is the Teacher's Corner. It's time to get a lesson from a PGA Tour professional. To submit a question, log on to jdelsinggolf.com. Let's get back to Jay and Dan. Answering emails as we head down the stretch in our final segment with Jay Delsing. Golf with Jay Delsing on a Sunday morning, every Sunday, 9 to 10, here on 101 ESPN. All right, partner, are you ready to answer some emails? I love this. You know, this is kind of an organically grown segment. We, uh, pe- Folks, thanks so much for reaching out and asking these questions. They've turned into a, to be a lot of fun. One of the questions that we get all the time, we actually had two from Gary and Tim about hitting the ball further. Yeah. So what yeah. can you do to do that? Okay, so so guys, so it's this really simple um, uh, math equation. you got to have speed. You need speed to hit it further. People ask me that all the time. I want to hit it further. It, but it's, it's, it's more than swinging fast, okay? It definitely helps if you can figure out a way to increase your, your swing speed. And there's training that you can do that, but most golfers aren't going to do that. But there are ways to – you make your technique better. You get your body more flexible and stay in the positions that you need to stay in, and you're going to be able to get that – that club face on the ball more solidly, more frequently, and and smash it. And folks, as you get older, start looking in to, they're calling them senior flexes. Start looking in the shafts that are a little softer, but are made more for your specific swing speed because that'll help you add distance as well. Steve said, Jaybird. He called you Jaybird. <laughs> uh oh. He, hear, he hears us say, I always say Jaybird to yeah. you. So he said, uh, I played on Friday. Uh, I was hitting through the clumpy, wet ground yeah. of St. Louis. And uh, he said he wasn't playing where he played the ball up. So he was playing it down. Where, wow! Yeah, that's that's hardcore. You, you, you're getting that. Uh, that's some tough shots. That, so there's some tough shots. How do you play those though? If they're you know down in the ground like that, and you're not going to get a ruling where you can pop it up and yeah. clean it off and yeah. then place it. So what are you what are you trying to do? Well, it just depends on how far away you are. I mean, if you're out there 200 yards away and you're down in this clumpy stuff, good luck because it's gonna the the biggest challenge there is how do you get club on that ball and so the first thing you got to do is try to get a little more angle so a little steeper more up and down so on your backswing you're going to lift the club up a little much little little bit and on your downswing you're going to hit almost directly down on the back of the ball where you know how you'll typically sweep a little bit and you'll start catching grass a few inches behind the ball just the top of the grass and then the ball and then turf after you got to get a little steeper and then you got to put some loft on your club you're going to have to get so if you so so let's say you go you got to go down and get this shot that's stuck in the clumpy stuff you're going to go take an even though you may not be able to hit your eight iron the distance that's required for the shot you take your eight iron you get a little steep on it it'll take a little of the loft off and the problem is, Steve, we don't get any roll this time of year. No, none. And so, so your ball's gonna your ball's gonna plop up. But the main thing is get it out of that junk, so that you're not spending two or three or four swings trying to relieve yourself from this whatever this condition is because it sucks. You know, so we gotta get it out, get it back in the fairway where you can at least get a good club on the ball. So it's cold too. You're not gonna get a lot of carry either. D, D this is what I tell people all the time. They're like, oh, this weather is great, and it is great. I mean, 70-degree day on Friday, come on. That was awesome. But our butts have been on the couches. We have not played much golf. We hadn't seen much sun. Forgot we are pale right now here in the Midwest. And the golf courses are in 
just not their top condition. So they're going to be playing long. And don't forget about the wind. How much wind was blowing? Well, Crazy. That, that is leading me to this question. This is from Mike. Windy conditions on Friday. Did you enjoy playing in windy conditions at all, or does anybody ever enjoy windy conditions? I think it's a mindset. So what I used to do, Danny, whenever – like I can remember the first tournament that we'd go from warm weather to cold. And, I, man, you should have heard the locker room. All the Southerners were complaining, and I was like, good, good, man. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm going to be make it colder. You know, just because sure. I don't necessarily like the cold, but if I'm going to be here, you know, I'm going to try to take it on and see what, see what I can do about it. So the wind was another thing. The wind is tough because when it blows a certain, once it gets to in that 30 mile per hour range, it affects your putts. It affects your chips, your pitches, everything. So it's really difficult, but hell, this Friday we hadn't been played. When's the last time we've been on the golf course? Months been months and so it was just great to be out my expectations are really really low it, it's it was fun to hit some shots hit some real stinkers too you know some putts came off of my putter i was like no <laughs> that's not gonna be any good but i mean you know that's all part of the process of working our way back a couple minutes to go this is bernard and he said jay saw you at the golf show the golf expo didn't want to bother you but was there anything that stood out for you as you worked on your game and, and saw some of the different items that were uh, offered to golfers? Yeah, so interesting. Wilson, and I saw my old friend Dave uh, Kircher, he, they've got an AI system that puts you through this hitting and spits out a program for you and tells you exactly what what stuff you need. And I thought that was fascinating. So I went through that with him. There's also these things called perfect hands that we saw Mario and his team going through. And I'm I'm – I'm on the fence still on this product, but it's it is very interesting. It's it's about increasing speed, but also trying to get the the golfer into the correct impact right at the ball. So I love that. And then, like I mentioned earlier, Gary DeSalvo with Popticals, they've got these cool golf glasses. They've got the best, folks, the best sunglass lens possible. Here's another thing that people may not realize, D. When you're when you're wearing sunglasses to play golf do not do not use polaroid's glasses you'll get distortion and you won't know where the ground is that's what i've been that's what that's it is. the reason no but it's really true it's really true so if folks if and and, and just send me an email and i'll and i'll fill you in on this but you got to check out popticals we're going to get gary and um dana his wife on the show and talk about this stuff but you don't want to polarized because it will distort your your um depth perception it's it's true so we're back to an hour nine to ten yeah. always enjoy it with you jay d thanks for doing it with me and hit them straight st louis hey st louis eddie mcveigh here from maggie o'brien's when you head downtown for a concert or cards or blues game and now for the st louis city soccer game Please come see us at Maggie O'Brien's before and after your event. Take our shuttle to and from or stay in-house and watch your favorite team on our multiple high-def TVs. We look forward to seeing you soon at one of our two locations in Sunset Hills on South Lindbergh or downtown at the corner of Market and 20th Street. Union Station is next to us. Are you driving an out-of-warranty car? It's only a matter of time before your out-of-warranty vehicle is in the shop costing you thousands of dollars. Auto repair costs are up nearly 20% from last year, which is four times the rate of inflation. If an unexpected breakdown happened today, would you be ready for that? Well, now you can be with a plan through CarShield. Even if your car is just over three years old, it's still prone to expensive costs. Your car is more than just getting you from point A to point B. Traveling by car is a way of life. From picking up your kids to going to a new restaurant, cars are a daily essential. When you enroll in a car protection plan through CarShield, you can look forward to the following. The price will never go up no matter how many claims you file or no matter how high the mileage on your car increases. CarShield offers protection plans that start as low as $100 per month. That's $100 per month. They have repair coverage for up to 5,000 different parts of your vehicle. Plus, when your car breaks down and you're stuck on the side of the road, you get 24-7 coast-to-coast roadside assistance. You also get complimentary towing and rental car options. CarShield has my back 
and my car breaks down. And they can have yours too. Call CarShield today at 800-465-6550 or visit carshield.com. It's CarShield, proud sponsor of the Golf with Jay Delsing Show.